Thank you see, you see. There we go. I think we should be good to go. Uh, yeah. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. This is Awareness Wednesday Primetime. I'm going to say welcome to the platform. Welcome our co-hosts. We are Victoria and Reggie Flanagan, your hosts on our detox that we can be talking about today on this Awareness Wednesday Primetime Live. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We appreciate you joining and taking time out of your schedule. Again, we're live on Facebook and we're also live here on Zoom. So before we get started with our topic of discussion, we're going to pass this over to this urchin right to the next, right, right to the left of me, Ms. Victoria Flanagan, who's going to give information on why she feels this platform is so important to her. Victoria, take it away before we get into our subject of conversation. Somebody has to let our people know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our people perish from lack of knowledge. Absolutely I, I found right. it, family. I found it. I'm just trying to share with you. That's all I'm doing. That's right. Just trying to share with you what I found. And she found some good stuff. Yes, she does. She does some really awesome, awesome oh, this kind of work. It. And she's still, and you see, she's still looking for stuff. You see that that's just what she does. So yeah. listen, let's just get into it. You know, there's so much going around, especially here in this country, the United States, the U.S. We have so much happening when it comes to the health, our health, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, obesity, just to name a few things. But it's on the rise, not just happening in adults, but it's also happening to our children now. Mm -hmm. So that further lets you know that there's something going on. What is it? What can we do about it? Well, this Wake is a, exactly. But well, this platform here is information or it's, it's designed to give you good, positive information on issues such as what you're seeing on screen detox. People just don't know what they don't know the importance of doing this every single quarter. You need to de detoxify your body. It's so important to good health. Doing those fasts that, you know, that everyone uh, get into that need to do to help cleanse their body, to keep it healthy. It's designed to be healthy. It's designed to have good things flowing through it, not these bad things. So that's why we talk about these different topics every single week. And this one here is very, very important when it comes to detox. All right. So let's get into our subject, which is serving God with a healthy mind, body, and spirit. And our scripture, beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. It's 3 John 1 and 2. Our subject today, as you can see, detox. Who do you know that needs to go through it? Who has not gone through it? You, well, you, you everybody, you, you, you. exactly, <laughs> need to do it. So we're going to have a good conversation about that. So take some copious notes because you never know the life you may be saving could be your own. But it's good information you can share with your friends, family, coworkers. You know, everybody needs to hear about the importance of detox. So make it happen. And like I said, it's being recorded. You can go back and play rewind, play rewind, and listen to it for yourself to get more detailed information. All right. So with that, I'm going to pass it back over to my urchin, my better 7A, because I truly believe she's more than just my half. All the work that she does, her research, I mean, committed to it, her consistency, her loyalty. I mean, you can't deny it. She's really good at what she does. That's why I call her that, my better 7As. She really gets deep into these conversations, into these different topics of discussion. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to the urchin, the certified health coach. My better seven eight, Mrs. Victoria Flanagan, who's going to give you information on detox. All right. So make it happen. Victoria, take it away. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is an old book that I had, and I pulled this one out just a little on while cleansing. ago on why you need to detox. Right. <laughs> if you want to be healthy, this is Health and Healing, Dr. Sh Richard Schultz. I mean, this is an old, old book, but he was talking about colon cancer kills 400% more people than AIDS. A uh, hundred percent of Americans eventually will get diverticulitis, holes in your colon, hmm. not being able to go to the bathroom. Up to 50% of Americans have polyps in their colon. Those polyps can lead to colon cancer. Mm -hmm. He says that colon rectal cancer will kill about 60,000 Americans each year. Wow. And they said over 130,000 new cases get diagnosed every year. Colon cancer, it's on the rise, family. But uh, we chose detox today. Everybody is going into the new year. They're talking new me, new you. New year, new me, the whole nine yards, and they want to do something different. So a lot of people are jumping into the gyms. There's nothing wrong with that, but you need consistency. You got to stay consistent with doing anything. Mm -hmm. So we picked out detox because if you want to get healthy, it has to start from within. You got to start. I'm detoxing right now. I got my tea over here on the side. You sure do. So, uh, 
this is something that we do as well. And it is time to detox the beginning of the year. So we're just going to jump right in here. Later, I'll show all of my little books that I have. But detox, why should we detox? I'm glad you asked, family. Why we should detox is because we breathe in air that has been poisoned with chemicals and pollutants. Toxins are also introduced into the air through vehicle exhaust, commercial processing, energy production, electronics, and many other sources. Also, we eat foods laced with chemicals, agricultural pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, fertilizers, stabilizers, preservatives, growth hormones, pharmaceuticals, artificial dyes, and flavoring. That's why we need to detox. Mm -hmm, indeed. Our diets consist of unhealthy quantities of saturated fats, white sugars, artificial sweeteners, and processed foods, and not nearly enough healthy ingredients. This is why we need to detox. Our daily intake of water is much lower than it should be. Instead, people are consuming more beverages like soda and other sugary juices more than ever before. This is why we have to detox. So practice detoxing is nothing new. Detox has been practiced for years, just for years around the world. Practiced for centuries by many other cultures around the world. Detoxification is about resting and cleansing and nourishing the body from the inside out. We all need to detox. I don't care what age you are. You need to do you it. You need to detox. By removing and eliminating toxins that feed in your body with healthy nutrition, that's de detoxifying, can help you protect you against diseases. That's another reason why we detox. Another reason why we detox. So I always say in this platform, you give your body the proper nutrition, proper waste removal, your bodies can definitely heal themselves. It states here, and I pull this out of one of these books here, your body is designed to detoxify itself. It can detoxify mm. itself. Most healthy bodies do not need help eliminating toxins of harmful substances. The primary role of several organ systems in your body is to metabolize and eliminate toxins. As long as the systems are healthy, they do their job automatically without any days off. You give your body what it needs, your body's going to take care of itself. There it is. Your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, your lymphatic system, your colon, and even your skin plays a role in your regular body detox detoxifying. These organs and systems adequately neutralize and remove harmful substances. Like I say all the time, give your body the proper nutrition, proper waste removal, the your body bodies can heal, heal itself. itself. Absolutely right. Also, it states... Uh, it states that God gave, this is out of this little book here. I love it. God gave you some amazing filtration systems. God did that to deal with the issues, your liver, your kidneys, your digestive tract, your skin, your lymphatic system, and the fat cells. It is as if he knew we were going to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> if you can regularly help those filter out, you can allow your body to work the way it's, it's supposed, supposed to. to. That's there true. it is. That's it. Yeah. it. We messing it up. So it also states that you are made of 17 trillion cells. Cells. 17 trillion cells. Healthy cells equal a healthy you. Correct. If your cells can't get good in and get the bad out, uh, you can be healthy. If your cells can't, if your cells get congested and toxic, good things can't get into your cells and bad things can't get out of your cells. Cellular congestion leaves you in a toxic state. We all know that for a fact. Toxic cells are the cause of metabolic conditions like heart disease, cancer, and, and failed organs. 
So you got to take care of yourself. It's just a part. That's just life. It's not a diet. It's not a fad. This is a life. This is everyday in general things that we're supposed exactly. to be doing. So if you don't think you're toxic, you're wrong. Everybody is toxic. Just think about it. Every aspect of our lives, like we said, the air we breathe, the food we eat, even the thoughts that you think, it has been estimated that there are currently over 80,000 chemicals currently used in the United States that we are exposed to every single day. That's right. Every single day. Reggie was talking about it's so cold outside. We need this cold to freeze up some of the, what, yeah, the to, cooties to, to, out to there. Cleanse, to cleanse the air. You need that. You know, we in the past several years, we have not had a really bad winter at all. It's been mild, 40 degrees, 50 degrees for winter. And that's not good at all. It's supposed to be cold. This is winter. Uh, this uh, is the time that things are getting purified, you know, and that cold helps the atmosphere. And, you know, when it, when it's cold, if you notice, when you look up in the sky, it's a whole lot clearer for some reason. Why? Because of the cold. It's purifying it's energy. It's crisp. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, we need Christmas. it. So I'm appreciating the cold this time because we do need it. You're absolutely correct. So it states that nature, nature produces a variety of foods designed by our creator that are perfectly compatible to our human bodies. It states that history shows that the further we get away from these natural occurring foods, the worse our health has become. Hmm. We can see that. Sure can. We can see that. Clearly a, see that. The more fast food places popped up, the sicker people have become. In those communities, absolutely. When we didn't have all of that, everybody was, was a lot more halfway healthier. decent. Exactly. Yeah. So just think about that for a minute. So it, they're just adding so much to our food sources and, and preservatives to preserve the food. Do you know if you buy a tomato? I had some tomatoes in the refrigerator. A tomato can last almost two months. A tomato. A tomato is not supposed to last two days. <laughs> you get a tomato, you buy it green, send it in the window. The next day you can eat that tomato. Tomatoes are not supposed to last for a month or two. <laughs> That's that's just unheard of. I hear you, What'd Pastor V. <laughs> it's cold enough to remove every disease. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It truly is. <laughs> so I also wanted to share with the detox. You're going to go through cleansing your body. We got an awesome detox system here. That's why we're detoxing now. Right we now, just yeah. got back from Bit, California. Yeah, so we got to get the I stuff out I had a cheeseburger, y'all. I ain't had a cheeseburger in I don't know how many years. It was, the, it was delicious, <laughs> too. But I got to get it out. Got to mm. get it out. I enjoyed it. We ate it at the airport, but that was the best cheeseburger I had in a long, long time. Wasn't no, no, what is it? Um, uh, Beyond, Impossible no, burger. It wasn't deal. that this was real beef burger. Yeah. And then it had everything on it. I, I, as far as she know, it was real It was beef. good. Stop. <laughs> the airport. <laughs> but now it's time to detox. So people who are detoxing, your body is going to go through something. And I'm here to, to tell you that a lot of people that will start a detox, they'll stop because something will start to hurt on oh, my back hurt. My, my I'm breaking out. I, I think that detox is not working. It's breaking me out. I'm having a that's rash. The I'm toxins having a, being that's released. The, tell them, Reg. I know that's right. That's tell what them, if you've never done it before. You're going to have some of these things. You're going to see a, a whole headache. lot of stuff going you on. They break with your out body. a little bit on your face. It's all natural. It's just getting those bad things in your body out. Absolutely. That's what detox is all about. But when you continue doing that and you do it right every quarter and you eat right, change that diet, you're going to get right and be right. And that's what the whole thing is about detox. That's why we Come are on. doing this report here on detox. Right. You want to expect and welcome some detox symptoms. And like he said, you're going to have some detox symptoms. And these are just some of the basic symptoms that you can have detoxing your system that means once you start detoxing you got to start putting good things in you can't detox and go that's, have a cheeseburger yeah, that's not you good at all continue that process until you're 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 finished detoxing mm -hmm. you know if you've never detoxed before you can do it from uh, seven to 15 days if you're on a quarterly detox you can do it for just three days some need three days some need five it depends on your body if you know your body like we know our bodies it's only going to take me a couple of days right. to detox it doesn't take him that long either but if you haven't ever done it 
do yourself a service and find you a really good detox. Get in contact with us because we got a good one. Yep. Nothing to play around with. It's the real deal. If it's in there, it's coming out. <laughs> so here are some symptoms to look for when you are thoroughly detoxing. Your body could start going through some headaches. You can have some headaches, some pain, and some nausea. If you drink a lot of coffee, expect some headaches because you're detoxing that caffeine out of there. So during the first couple of days, you might have a couple of headaches. You might also experience some physical <clears throat> aches and joint pain, even some nausea. You could get a little nauseated too. That something just don't feel right. Your body is detoxing. Right. Also, you can also get cravings. You going through detox, and that body you said, immediately okay. want some uh -huh. sugar. If I don't get me some Oreo cookies right. up in here, somebody's <laughs> going to get stabbed in their eye. Your body's I trying to trick you. Your body trying to tell you something. So you might go through some serious With cravings. Draws. As your body yeah. detoxify, it craves the foods that it was used to eating, mm -hmm. such as your meat, your dairy, your sugar, and even caffeine. Craving may last for several hours or even several days, right. but they will begin to decrease as your body gets rid of these toxins. So always listen to your body. Always, always. The next one is fatigued. You start detoxing and you feel a little tired. You're going to get tired because it's just draining you. Detoxing starts from the head and works its way down. So allow time to rest during your detoxification phase as eliminating toxins will drain you and make you feel exhausted. Take time to ease and rest. Right. Get you that tea that. and go put your feet up and relax. Let the, let the detox do what it's supposed to do. Let your body rest. We talked about sleep deprivation last week. If you didn't see that one, go back and watch that one. So another craving you could have, another symptom could be muscle aches. You just feeling, you know, like something ain't right. That's that detox getting down in them joints and getting all that gunk out. <laughs> You may feel achy as if you're catching a cold or a flu. You may get a release of some of that mucus, so you can also have a runny nose. That's your body detoxing. All that stuff is coming out. It's going to come out of everywhere. Your nose, your skin. Your everywhere. Body, everywhere. <laughs> so that's a good detox. The next one is skin rashes. Like I said, it's going to come from everywhere. Skin rashes and even acne are signs that your body is excreting these toxins from your skin, which is the body's largest organ of elimination. You definitely want to pay attention to that. By doing colonics and salt water flushes and taking colonic cleansers, you can minimize the rashes and the breakouts. Mm -hmm. Whatever <laughs> detox you're doing, because there's a lot out there on the market right now, uh, the commercials are all over TV. The OTCs, all the things you can buy over the counter, you got to be very careful of what you're taking and what your body can adjust to. The last one is irritability. You might be a nasty little sucker going through a detox. <laughs> not eating <laughs> some possible. of your, <laughs> not eating some <laughs> of your favorite foods will make you feel irritable and just downright mean yeah, it could be it's possible. <laughs> so expect to be a yeah. little cranky yeah, a little irritable this exactly. is a good time to avoid social events especially <laughs> if they're eating the things you shouldn't be eating around you exactly. that can upset you too if you don't want to be out there don't in get, something and you see everybody trust. eating their little exactly. cucumber sandwiches or eating their little turkey and cheese sandwiches don't go just yeah. don't go so those are just some of the symptoms of detoxing. See, detoxing is all about self-care. You got to take care of you. And it's worth going through it knowing yes, that the outcome is, is going to make you healthier, a longer life. I mean, it's all about you and taking care of you and getting that body right. So you got to do this, but you got to be disciplined at it. And also partner with somebody too. have that workout partner and do it together. Absolutely. That Pastor helps. Z, a TMC call, they're doing um, 40 fasting, 40-day fast. 40 day. So it's a it's a wonderful thing to do together. You know, get that accountability partner. Yeah. And if you haven't done it, give it a try. Just it's 2024. You're looking for something better. You're looking for something different. Try it. You don't know what you can do until exactly. you try do it. it. I know in your mind Some you're saying, I can't do that. That's 40 days. I can't. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you can't. Start with four. Yeah. <laughs> start there. Just start Trust, with four days. 
it's it's not as hard as it as you Correct. think it's going to be. So basically, detoxification means the cleansing of the blood. It does this mainly by removing impurities from the blood and the liver where toxins are processed for elimination. That's your liver. You got to definitely take care of your liver. The body also eliminates toxins through your kidneys, your intestines, your lung, your lymphatic system, and your skin. However, when the system is compromised, impurities are prob properly filtered and every cell in your body is adversely affected. Mm -hmm. Everything is connected, family. You can't just take one thing and think it's going to fix that. It's going to fix everything if you're giving your body the right stuff. But if you eat in bad and you turning back that alcohol, that's also going to mess up everything. So we're going to go right into a good diet. We're going to talk about a really, really good diet why you are fasting. I don't like to say diet. I like to say lifestyle. It's just a lifestyle. Don't say diet because if you take the tea off a of diet, you're going to you know, die yeah. <laughs> if you don't get what you really want to eat. <laughs> but just look at things just totally different going into 24. Now, detoxing, this, we're talking about detoxing today. To detox your body, you also have to detox your kitchen. You know what that means. Go in your kitchen, go in the refrigerator, and detox your refrigerator. Go in your mm -hmm. cupboards, detox, detox your cupboards. cupboards. If you know it's not supposed to be in there, look at the sugar content on yes. everything yes. and just throw it up. Give it away. Don't throw food in the garbage because people are hungry out there. Give it to your neighbor. Let them be a little chunky little something next door. But give it away what? to people that got kids <laughs> that need to eat. <laughs> but give it away. Don't throw no food in the garbage. Give it away. Take it to the church to do what you need to do, but get it out of your house. Yeah, just you donate it out. Just get mode. rid of it. Yeah. Exactly. Especially if you're looking to, to, to take care of your body. Do that. Exactly. And these are some things. I'm just going to go down the list real quick. We'll go down the list of some things to purchase and put in your cupboard and in your refrigerator. And we recommend you do that detox of your cupboard and refrigerators before you start this system. That would be ideal. Please. That would be ideal. Because <laughs> then you'll be tempted to eat what's in there. Okay. Now just listen to some of these things because this is a meal in itself. Right. You can mix and match these to make meals. We've done it. It's doable. These are some of your G bombs. We talk about the G bombs all the time. All what the are time. G bombs? So They're your greens, greens your, your beans, beans, your onions, your, onions, your mushrooms, your berries, and, and your seeds. seeds. The things That's you should all be we're eating. supposed to be eating Good that God like that. put here for us to have compatible to our bodies so it states that these are some of the things that you can have you can have brown rice brown rice you can have kiwa that's another form of rice, rice. Mm -hmm. you can have sweet potatoes you can have bananas beans all beans kidney beans navy beans lentils pinto beans uh, black beans all these beans you can have white beans you can also have white potatoes. You can have red potatoes, red oatmeal, grapes, kiwi, blueberries, apples, raspberries, cherries, kale, that's your greens. You can have oranges, plums, squash, that's seasonal, get you some squash, mm -hmm. carrots, corn, onions, peaches, and broccoli, another green, broccoli. Also, you can have cantaloupe. Uh, strawberries, you got to buy these things and seasonal. That's God's family. candy stay, right here. Stay seasonal. Yeah, all yep. your fruits are God's candy. That's you can treat. have okra, another green, collard greens. You can have watermelon, mm. seasonal watermelon. Mm -hmm. Cabbage, this is cabbage season. Get you some cabbage. Spinach, mushrooms. Start cooking with mushrooms. Look up some recipes to cook with mushrooms. Mushrooms are at the top of the list right now for everything. They're high in antioxidants. They even got this um, mushroom coffee. We got a new mushroom coffee. It got mm -hmm. three different mushrooms in it. But mushrooms are at the top of the chain right now, high in antioxidants. Right. So turnip greens are another one. Bell peppers. You can have tomatoes. You can have zucchini, green beans celery, cucumbers. You can have all of these things. Mm -hmm. Now that's a meal. That's what you want to stock your cupboards and your refrigerator with. Buy seasonal if you can and buy organic if you can. Now, if we're detoxing, 
These are some things to stay away from. Listen, Here we go. Listen to this. Listen. Oils. All oils. All oils. You don't want to ingest any oil. Nothing taken in to swallow oils. <laughs> no, no oils at all. No salad dressings to put on those little salads you're going to be making. I got a, a salad dressing recipe up here. I'm going to get that in a minute. But no oils. No fried foods. You can't have uh, no junk food, no cheese, no ground beef, no fried chicken, no bread, no fish, no salmon, and no boneless, skinless chicken no breast. No nothing. No meat. Just <laughs> give it up for a couple of days. That's you it. got That's all this other you, stuff exactly, you can eat. Exactly, you can eat. You got everything else that you can Just choose crowd from. out that bad you stuff. You can make now. a soup with your, your mm -hmm. you can make a stir fry. Yep. You can do smoothies. You can do uh you can do all of these things. But here's a, a oil-free salad dressing. You can get pressed garlic, you can get squeezed lemons. You definitely want to have lemons in the house. Uh squeezed lemons, a little bit of orange juice, some diced bell pepper, some nutritional yeast, fresh cilantro. You want to keep cilantro in yeah. the house too. That detoxes heavy metals out of your body. Some red wine vinegar, you can have that. Salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little cayenne uh, pepper. You can put cayenne pepper on everything. Mm -hmm. uh, ginger, dried cilantro, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. Whoop all that together and that's your dressing. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's flavorful. It's going to give your food flavor so you don't feel like you're missing anything. So that's your meal prep for detoxifying your body. So you see, it's a lot of great things on that list. It, that it truly eat. is. It is. And that will help you, you know, break that habit of eating the wrong thing because your body's going to get used to the good stuff. We call it crowding yeah, out. Exactly. Crowd out one thing for something, something else. else. Just exactly. try it for real. And once you get your taste buds readjusted, you won't even miss it that much. You sure won't. You really won't. And if you try to eat something that you have detoxed yourself off of, you trust to believe you or no <laughs> somebody just posted something like that on facebook a facebook friend of mine gave up uh sugar uh -huh. now you can taste sugar in, in everything. absolutely everything the same thing with salt mm -hmm. salt if you give up salt for a little a couple of days you will everything will taste so salty you're not going to be able to eat it and once you fully detox your body and cleanse yourself and get on that you know that routine of eating clean and being clean when you try to put something in your body mm -hmm. that, that you've detoxed out, it will let you know. I will it will react to that. Hey, wait a minute. What is this you just mm -hmm. gave me? I don't want this anymore. And you're going to start feeling the results of that. Now, here's some <laughs> other ways of detoxing. We talked about fasting. Mm -hmm. They're doing a 40-day fast. You can pull these things up on Google. Everything is Googleable. Yep, everything. <laughs> Googleable. That's right? our word. That's it. Uh, Google University. Pull up fasting and just try it. Try it for three days. Some people can fast. Some people can do water fast, but that's that's a little high on the chain. You got to really know yourself to do a water fast. But some people get by on that. Mm -hmm. Fasting is just letting your body rest. I mean, really rest. No chewing, no nothing. No, just give your body that rest this need and fasting goes with praying you're going to pray to get through that fast but the praying and fasting goes together right so it it gives you clarity you can think better you can your your thoughts are clearer everything is just so much clearer if you put it together you don't have to eat every day just because you're hungry you know you could get a little something and go sit down somewhere you don't have to Fix your plate like it need guardrails. Like we saw, like oh my guy gosh. At the, the guy at the hotel. Bring this up. Unbelievable. <laughs> tell him about his plate. This guy, now, let me tell you something. Family. He was a big guy, too. You know, they had a, they had a, a, a brunch at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And it was a $10 plate. In California. Now, in California. That doesn't mean go and pile your plate up four inches high. You know, that, that you're going to need some guardrails around to hold it in place. And outside of that, it was after eating this, this guy ate all of this food, all bad stuff that he put on that plate. And then he went back for the dessert. He had three slices of cake and two uh, muffins that he ate as well. I said, that man has no idea what's going on. 
He really doesn't. But they look at it like it's free. You know, like it's we got free food. They look at it like this is this is free. Right. Al, Al Perry, Perry, what's up, brother Al? <laughs> but they look at it like it's free food. So right. He piled that plate up. And unannounced to us, we were just sitting over there having a cup of coffee. It come back that the guy was saying, the guy walked over into us and said, did y'all know that couple that was sitting over there? And I was like, no, we don't know mm -hmm. them. He said, because they walked out without paying. He ate that whole, whole breakfast, thing. took some with them and walked out. Wow. So we just looked at it like that, like, you know, go ahead with your bad self. But no, we didn't know them. But he, he got his, he got his, he got his share that morning. He sure Just did. And got his share that morning. So that's fasting and praying. The next one, the next form of detox is called oil pulling. I don't know if you've ever done oil pulling, but it's something to look into as well. That's Indeed. Googleable. You can also look that up. But detoxing is a must family. I don't care who you are, what age you are. Everybody needs to detox. And once you do detox, don't get alarmed at what you see in that bowl because that's yours. It came out of you. You're going to see all kinds of things in that bowl. You're going to see parasites. You can see worms, ringworms, hookworms, all kinds of things that come out of your body once you start to detox. How he take over our camera? I don't know what's going on. Hey, what just, are you doing? <laughs> just trying to get so I want to I wanna talk about oil pulling. Oil pulling is you take a tablespoon full of coconut oil. I got coconut oil right here. This right. is mine. Coconut oil. And you take a tablespoon and you put it in your mouth first thing in the morning and you swish it. Swish it around in your mouth for five to 10 minutes. You just really want to swish that around in your mouth. Right. What it does, it pulls all that bacteria out of your mouth that you done slept on in the night, you done breathed through your mouth and now you're sounding like a drag, you're up. So all that bacteria that sits on your tongue, you, there are tongue scrapers out there, you can scrape some of that stuff off, but there's um, the oil pulling. You wanna do five to 10 minutes and walk around with the oil in your mouth and just swishing it back and forth. It's killing all that bacteria in your mouth that you done you know, uh, slept on in the morning and then you want to take it and you want to spit it in the trash. Mm -hmm. Don't spit it in the sink because of the oil and the, the cold water. We don't want nothing coagulating in your sink. And y'all say that we don't stop your y'all sink, but we didn't do that. <laughs> so take that and spit it in the trash. Take the oil pull and spit it in the trash. And then you can go brush your teeth. You can go have your your coffee or do whatever you need. But try that oil pulling first thing in the morning. The next one is teas. They're all type of detox teas out there. Get you some teas and drink your tea. You got chamomile tea. You got burdock tea. You got um, lavender tea. You got mm -hmm. all these teas to relax you. Just green tea is a detox tea. So get you some teas. The other one, another way to detox your body is Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt bath. I bought some of my... Epsom salt. Epsom salt in here, so you can see what's going on with this. I don't know. It's so Just distracting. Keep, Al, keep going. Get off and come back in. It's not Al. Okay, out. here we go, family. This is Doctor Teal's pure Epsom salt mm -hmm. soaking solution. Doctor Teal. It comes in different. I'm not going to say uh, different. It's not flavors because you can't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in different scents. This one is glow and radiance with vitamin C and citrus essential oils. That's Dr. Teal's mm -hmm. Epsom salt. You can just soak in the Epsom salt for a good, what they say, you want to put two cups, two cups in there, and you want to sit in the Epsom salt. That is definitely a detox. It pulls all the toxins out of your body. The next one here, I have Dr. Teal. This is pure Epsom salt. This mm -hmm. is black elderberry with vitamin D. Black elderberry with vitamin D. I'm telling you, it does the same thing. It smells really, really good. But what the salt does, it pulls toxins out of your body. So if you go to the gym, 
If you go to the gym, you can get a really good Epsom salt bath. Yeah, guys, you can get your big butts in the tub. That's get right. in the tub and soak in some Epsom salt. It will definitely pull these toxins out of your body. Get your shoulders down in there. Get your legs, get your back. It's good for your muscles. It's just relaxing bath. So those are the different scents it comes in. You got eucalyptus, you got lavender. It's so many by Dr. Teals. Mm -hmm. So just pick up a few. And they're not that expensive either. But keep some of those in the house for a good Epsom salt bath. Even if you don't take a bath, soak your feet in it. Get you a foot bath and pour some Epsom salt in there and soak your feet in the Epsom salt. It'll still pull some of those toxins out through the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. I know if everybody's seen those little Chinese pads they used to put on the bottom of your feet. For detoxing. Right? For detoxing. Yeah. And they'll just, exactly. and by the, a couple of hours, their little pads are jet black because they done pulled all this stuff out the bottom of your feet. It's detoxing. Find ways to help detox your body. Very, very important to do so. The next one I wanted to share you is dry brushing. Here's my brush. It looks like a back brush. It's a skin brush. It's a big skin brush with a handle on it. You can take the handle off. Mm -hmm. I have two of these, one in I keep in the living room and then one in the bedroom that when I'm sitting and watching TV, I dry brush. And what this does, it opens up your lymphatic system. This here could possibly save your life. This is for your lymphatic system. You want to start at your feet, the bottom of your feet, and you always want to brush up. This is a brush. We call it dry brushing. You can look that up it too. Feels, That's Google it feels Wonderful. really good. I'm telling you. But start at your yes, feet and start brushing up. Upward. You want to brush the bottom of your feet, the top of your feet. You want to brush mm -hmm. your legs. You want to brush your calves. You definitely want to get behind your knees. Everywhere where you've been, like in here, you want to brush. You want to get at a really, really good brush because so many of your your things get lodged in your joints in your joints where you've been so brush the back of those knees brush your thighs brush your sides brush your hips brush your hands and brush your arms everything goes up towards your heart don't brush your breast ladies but you can brush your belly brush your belly in a circular motion but this is called dry brushing look that up it is excellent for your lymphatic system. That's another form of detoxing. Just like the Epsom salt is good for uh, detoxing your body, this can start that process. Mm -hmm. After Do the dry brushing first and then go get in some Epsom salt bath. Woo, you're going to sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, family, it works. It truly, truly works. Mr. over here <laughs> had me dry brushing him. He said, get me one time. Get That's me right. one time. Ain't but no, it I'm feels you, really, really it good. It really does. It comes in different um, strengths. You can get a soft brush. So you can get a hard on. brush. It could be dead, dead skin. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> Who say I love brushing? Okay, let the kid till she brushes. So this is really, really good for um, dry brushing. So mm -hmm. try that, family. And then another one for your lymphatic system is a mini trampoline. Get you a mini trampoline and just bounce. bounce. It's good for blood circulation. It's easy on the joints. Make sure you put on your angel bra, let, put on a really good sports bra, but just mm -hmm. bounce. Just if, bounce. If you're someone that has an issue with balance, get the one that has the, the handle, handle on it. Mm -hmm. So you can hold on while you're bouncing, please. The kid's going to love it too. Oh, They're yeah. going to take turns. But just bounce. It's All good right. for blood circulation. Yeah. It's good for your lymphatic system. It gets everything moving. Everything is going. Any age can bounce on a rebounder. From a baby, I know when the kids were here, Brittany mm -hmm. went home and bought Link his own little bouncer. But the elderly, they're good for the elderly because they're easy on the joints. What is it called? It's called the shower. It's, I think it's called the shower brush. What is the name of that? It's, it's, it's a. It's just a skin brush. Yeah. What does it say on there? Skin brush. Yeah, uh, skin brush. That's all it is. Skin, it's a skin brush. brush. You can buy them. Uh -huh, you can buy them at the skin brush. The drugstore. You can get it from the supermarket. Walmart has them. Target has them. Mm -hmm. What is she saying? Literally uh, just stepped off my. Oh, she just, oh, she stepped, just stepped off the trampoline. Yep, there you go. But the trampoline is wonderful, family. It just 
It keeps you feeling young. It's good for your skin. It's good for your blood, good for your joints. It's just good for everything. everything. But th that's great for your lymphatic system. Look up things to open up your lymphatic system. That's how you know that things are working. Your lymphatic system is part of a detoxification mm -hmm. program that you have to part of that body that God talked about, that filtration system. So do just that. And then the last one was just exercise. Movement is medicine. You got to move your body. Some type of exercise, I don't care what it is, you got to move. Truly, truly, truly have to move your body. You can't because you're you're sitting all day at work. You come home, you drive to work, you're sitting. You get to work, you're sitting. You drive home and then you're eating and sitting in front of the TV. And that's the worst thing you can do is to sit most of your day. They say sitting that's like, is the that's new like smoking. smoking. That's what they that's what they say. Mm -hmm. So if you're someone that 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 is doing that, get up, walk around, you know, make some steps, move that body. Don't let that don't, don't let your body sit idle. You got to move it. While move you it. still can. Exactly, because eventually you may not be able to. So keep it moving. If you're looking to lose weight, this is the perfect way to make it happen. Detox your body first. Absolutely. Get all that bad junk out of your body and then start with good things, eating right, eating clean, and lose the weight you want to lose and get that energy back you want and move that body. You got to move it. But detoxing can keep the inflammation down. Yes, it can. It can bring some of the pain down. If you're having pains in your joints, detoxing can help with that. If you are doing a lot of dairy, refrain from any dairy. That Correct. was not in the in the report. <laughs> refrain from dairy. Dairy can be very inflammatory. Scary. It can be, <laughs> no, it can cause a lot of mucus in your body. And like Dr. Sebi said, there's only one disease and it's mucus. mucus. You get it in your elbows, it's bronchitis, arthritis. arthritis. In your chest, it's bronchitis. bronchitis. Wherever you get that mucus or wherever it lodges, That's it that's the disease that it turns mm. into. So just make better choices for 2024. We're here to help you give, give you some of those tools to help. And it's not as hard as you think it is. It Correct. truly, truly isn't. So I'm gonna show you a couple of my books and then I'm gonna go right into that detox we were talking about and that tea I'm drinking right yeah, now. Yeah, and you start drinking mine. Hey, mine right here. Uh -huh. Nice trying to drink mine tea. while it was still still a little warm so i got this book here yeah. this is dr living good he's all over uh facebook dr. And that's living his real good. name him and his wife mm -hmm. jessica wrote this book make it simple just make it simple it's all kind of recipes in here and he talks about absolutely everything in that book here's another book i always refer back to i love 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 this book this is miss jj smith and these are smoothies. So if you can't eat a good meal, drink, drink it. a good meal. Get those, those vegetables, more vegetables than fruit. Put the vegetables in and then put your fruit in. Try to use, um, uh, what is it? Um, as far as what, the blender? No, coconut water. Oh, yeah, coconut water or coconut, water coconut or milk. The coconut milk or, or you can milk. do distilled uh, water. water. Correct. Get you a really, really good juicer. We have several. Oh, go get the little ones that we got for oh, yeah. uh, Christmas. Uh, get yourself a really, really good juicer. Get yourself a good blender. We have the Vitamix. I prayed for that Vitamix because I seen that man work that thing at Costco's. I said, I got to have that. <laughs> so, but we got the Vitamix. And the Blendjet. And we got the Blendjet. These little, little blenders that you can juice take with you and take your little juices with you you can put all your ingredients in it and you don't have to blend it until you get where you're going and that's what i do so i put my fruits so he in takes here it to work. my smoothie blend it up and i'm good to go but we have that then we have the ultra what you call it the bullet we got the bullet, got the bullet. Mm -hmm. so we have several juices so if you can't eat your meal juice your meals there's no excuses that i can't do it i mm -hmm. can't find it i can't yeah you can yeah, you can. So, oh, and the other book that I have, this is just common sense. I love this book too. This is Dr. Schultz. <laughs> just plain common sense about health and healing. Indeed. It's not as hard as you think it is. It is extremely simple. And he talks about everything in here. The water you should be drinking, the vegan foods, how to cleanse and why you need to cleanse your bowels. Bowel cleansing. <laughs> Stretching and walking, moving. Water therapy. He talks about uh -huh, water therapy. Uh -huh. uh, getting in the 
in the water. If you're big and you can't exercise or your joints hurt, go get in the pool. Yeah. Heated pool. Stretching. Water exercises. Stretching. Walking. He says, stop television. Turn the TV off and mm. do something else. That's what I say. Get off of Facebook and put your faith in, in a, a book. book. Start reading again, family. Mm -hmm. So I want to go over the detox that we talked about and the tea that I'm drinking. But Indeed, Mr. but before we do that, that, we do have our disclaimer before we talk about any nutritional products. These products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. They're not designed to mitigate, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. But all we do know, by our opinion, these are the best products on the market today. I've been detoxing since I got home. I got the new Got the new bullet. All right, okay, now. Okay, there you Dr. go. Ian. And she got the emulsifier. There you go. Okay. That's um, Lean and Clean, Dr. Ian right, Smith. Jeffy, bank okay, job. I got his books, Clean and Lean. Okay, this is our detox. This is the, the system that I'm talking about. Right I'm, now. I'm detoxing right now. This is the tea, green tea right here. It's Part a of pill it. you take uh, in the morning, and then it's a tea you drink at night after dinner. This is the tea we ha that I had. Mine is going but it's a thorough detoxification system. It's a two-step thorough detoxification system. It consists of two steps, an internal cleanse and a general detoxifier. It contains center leaf and fragula bark. And once they mix together, they sweep toxins out. out of your body. That's what you want. Also, it energizes the probiotics and the enzymes in your body. Correct. So it cleanses your digestive system and your elimination tract. Yes. So if it's in there, it's, it's coming, coming out. out of there. Now, let me say this. This is not a laxative Please, family. Rich, For those who are guests that may be connected, it's not a laxative. It's going to regulate your digestive Absolutely. system so that you're going on a regular. So if you're going only once, but eating five meals a day, something's wrong. You're, you're not regulate, regulated. So yeah. let this product help you. You're Cleanse yourself. Up. It's a mild detox. I mean, it's a good detox. Very good detox. But it's going to help you get on the healthier side and if you get that weight down that you want to get down. So use this product. People are looking to lose weight. Yes. What you have to do is cleanse your liver. That's what you have to you do. You have a sluggish liver. Your liver is your filtration system. It's like and an oil if, filter on a car. There you go. Yeah. If you don't change your oil in your car, your car not going very fast. And it's <laughs> the same thing with you. I think that was in one of the books. Mm -hmm. If you don't change your oil in your car, you know, every so often, and that's Our why we have to quit on you. Exactly. And that's why we have to detox. It's the exact same exact concept. Same thing. Exact We're same walking concept. automobiles. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. For that's real. That's not bad. No, seriously. Write that but down. Uh, a child at the age of 15 <laughs> can take the ultra body cleanse. That's not for children. We do have something here for children. This is our other detox. This right. is our green. La v. This is our bio flow. Flow is yep, the key that's word. The maintenance right there. I'm telling you, this is maintenance. You eat something that doesn't agree with you or you had something throughout the week. This you can take daily. This is mm -hmm. not going to hurt you because you're only taking two ounces of it. Correct. And you can take this daily. The, the little people can take it in your house and the elderly that can take it mm -hmm. in the house. The green will keep you clean on a daily mm -hmm. basis. If you eat three meals, you should be going to the bathroom At least three twice, times. twice to three times. Easy. Dr. If you eat in the right Dr. thing. Dr. Schultz said if you eat three meals, you yeah. need to be going. Great stuff, couple. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Top of the bottom. Okay. Then we have our red Levine. This is our signature product. Yes, it is. Now, if you're going to detox your body and you detox in your kitchen and your cupboards and your refrigerator, you got to have good stuff to put back in. Mm -hmm. And this is some good stuff to put back in. I mean, you once you detox, your electrolytes are going to be off. I mean, your balance is, your pH is going to be off. Everything is going to be off once you detox. That's why you have to put good things back into your body. Indeed so you, you do. don't feel like crap Correct. and Correct. say the detox didn't work. It just Correct. made me sick and I ended up in the hospital. That's because you didn't put the good stuff back in. We're telling you the good put the yeah, good don't, things back in please don't go back to the bad habits if you're People serious about changing your health you got to be disciplined that's why we're saying you know if you've never done it get a partner who can help you through this process don't try to do it alone if you don't have to i mean you can but if you feel you're going to fall short get that workout partner to, to do it with you so you can get through that process make it a habit because once you start cleansing 
complete that cleanse and start putting that good things in. You, you don't know what feels so good. so good. You don't know what feel good really feels until you really feel good. Mm -hmm. But you got to do it. Trust and believe. Because once you get it done, you cross that hurdle. There's no going back. And this is 2024. You yeah. want to try something different anyway. Try it. There's the thing You're to stuck try. in the house. It's freezing outside. Where are you going? <laughs> you might as well hit the floor, do some sit-ups while you're down there. Uh -huh. And then when you get up, go get you some water to drink. Here's our next one. This is our multi plus. It's a, a Levine, yellow, yellow Levive. The bottle didn't change yet. But this is our vitamin, a liquid mm -hmm. vitamin. Give your body the proper nutrition and the proper waste, waste removal. removal. Your bodies can Do heal itself. themselves. Absolutely. Hint, hint, clue, clue. Trying to fill you in, family. But that's just the way our bodies work. Like the report said, the further we get away from the things that God put here for our bodies to have, the we'll sicker we become. have become. Yep. And that is so true. Stop eating all that stuff that's in the street. That mm -hmm. stuff is not for us. Your body's and, not recognizing that. That's why And if you go on Instagram fat. and see Come some on. of these things that they it's pulling up, good. all the rats running around in these facilities at night mm -hmm. and, and people finding mice at the bottom of their drink. It's, just, it, it's not good. You don't want to eat in those places. It's, it's you like truly Russian don't roulette. Wanna, you don't it really know what is. You're gonna you get. don't know what you're going to get. And then they got nope. teenagers in there. Are they really washing their hands? Because they can't even keep their room clean. I'm just saying, you know, for <laughs> me to you, the kids playing around with your food. Oh, uh, no. Don't like that too much. Okay, last but not least. <laughs> this <laughs> is our shield. I threw this in there because I love the Fantastic Four. That's what we call all of these, the Fantastic Four. Just the three themselves are the essentials. Mm -hmm. They have a, a shot glass that you pour two ounces of the three of these and you drink that every single day. Correct. But the shield is separate. The shield with this combo is called Fantastic Four. I always talk about the Fantastic Four because the shield is has another berry, has elderberry in it. Mm -hmm. It has zinc. Zinc shortens the durations of colds. colds it has ginseng in it. Has your vitamin D three because mm -hmm. most people are deficient in vitamin right. D three. And, and this is a, a powder form. You can mix it in. You can drink it hot like a tea. Mm -hmm. You can mix it in with all three of you, these together. But if you're looking to keep your immune system strong, and that's what this platform is all about, family, keeping your immune system strong get in your body alkaline correct get your body mm -hmm. in an alkaline state no disease can live in an alkaline body now don't take our word for it you know dr richard cutler once wrote he said Say the it. amount of antioxidants that you maintain in your body is directly proportional to how long you can live on this planet but you know if we all have i say it all the time we mm -hmm. all have an expiration date we can't change that there's no way you can we're all going to have that day but if you know what, you can at least maintain a good, healthy body to live as long as you can. And it's based on your choices. Why not do that? Because remember, you are the side effect of what you put in your mouth. Tell them, Reg. So if you don't like what you see or how you feel, change it. You did it. Make that decision. You did that. Exactly. So make that, make that decision and say, you know what? I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm changing it to now, right now. I'm going to make that decision. I know you it's going to be hard. But we're going to make it happen. We're going to do this. You get up and walk to the bathroom and your butt is hitting the back of your knees. That's yours. And you think you're being followed. It's you. <laughs> That's yours. That's you. Okay. Let's we're change just it. saying, do something different. You want different results? Right. Do something different. It's not as hard as you think it is. Just make better choices family that's, that's what 2024 for me is self-care mm -hmm. that's why i said uh epsom salt baths body brushing bouncing self-care you can do these things while you're watching tv just don't sit there and idolize start mm -hmm. reading you know pick up a newspaper find a hobby i started crocheting again do something mm -hmm. constructive with yourself just don't sit there Get your passport. You can order your passport now. So by the time the weather break, you'll be ready to go. Seven. Don't sit on life because mm -hmm. life is going to go on without you, whether you're in it or you're not in it. So let's just start living. Absolutely. The point of what is saying? The point is not to live longer, but to live better, not just to add more to more years to your life but to add more life to your years. There you go. There you go. There you go, family. That's it.
And we plan to do that. And we just want you guys to do that as well. Right. Just start living. Do something. Start that bucket list. Mm -hmm. You know, get put some things down that you haven't done before. Try something different for 2024. Everybody wants more in 2024, but what you going to do? What's your more? There Identify you go. Identify that, all right? There you go. Jocelyn just came home with a zero a zero Coke. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that because we're talking about sugar next week. Oh, yeah. There's oh, 16 yeah. cubes of sugar <laughs> in that zero Coke that says zero. There's 16 cubes of sugar in there. We had a thing with sugar <laughs> so yesterday. Be careful. So get we're doing sugar next week. <laughs> <laughs> I know Pastor V and, and Mama PK, they're doing the fasting, uh, looking for looking for my sugar, looking for sugar, something like that. They were looking for sugar in everything. Uh -huh. Look for the sugar content in everything. It will blow your mind how much sugar intake did you have by the end of the day. One liter of soda, 68 cubes of sugar in one liter. That's next week. That's next week. Wait till I see the stats on that. It's crazy. crazy though. But this platform is just to keep you aware, family. Yeah. Keep you aware. Keep you aware. So try an Epsom salt bath. Go get you some Epsom salt. Get you a body brush. And just try it. Try something different. Those are simple little hacks, simple little things. Try oil pulling tomorrow. If you got some coconut oil in the house, try that. Just give it a try. That's all we're saying. So that's all I have. My detox tea is gone. Yep, mine too. I showed you all of my books. What's the matter? Oh, I thought I had to go. We're good. We're good. You ain't got to go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> but drinking the tea now, what time is it? Drinking the tea now, so you'll get I'll get a good smooth move in the morning. But right now I'm going to have a bottle of water. Yes, anything that's another thing that you too. take, that. Gotta drink your that. water. You got to stay hydrated if important. you are detoxing. Stay hydrated. Yes. Stay hydrated. Yes. Stay hydrated. But my thing is detox, detox, detox. Let's get it out of there, family. All right. So here's what I want to tell you: get back with the person I may have invited you to this platform. Get your package. Get your uh, detox. Get package. you get some. Your, get you your detox. Get your fantastic support. Just get the products that's going to help you. It's good live for a you. Good on your joints. All right, let's do that. Get we back looking with that good. Everybody looks so good in California too. I was looking yeah. at everybody's skin. I was yeah. like, look at that skin. Good. Everybody good. looks good. so good. good. So that is it, family. That is it. Yep. That is it. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about sugar. sugar. It's right there at sugar. the top of the line. We got to yep. talk about it. It's Who do you in, know? It's in absolutely everything. Everything. And we just have to make better choices. Indeed. Got to make better choices. So I want to thank you again for Indeed, joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As our co-hosts, are there any questions? Are there any questions anybody want to ask us while we got this a hot second left? Hold on, let me just go into the participant box here to see if we have any but questions. But detox family, get it out. Just get if it out of there. If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself in three, two, and one. If you have any questions, anybody have any questions? Like I said, you could take the you could take the handle off. And yep, really there you get go. In there. My really back real quick. Get my back. There you go. That's how you really do that. Get in there. All right. Great Thank job. You, Thank Dr. you, Dr. Great job, Vladigans. Appreciate you. You all did a great job. Right, so I'm over here good. suffering for Jesus, no trying to no detox. It's all good. Oh, we got some good information you. tonight. Let's make it happen. Thank so you. Let's get your pack. <laughs> let's get healthy. Let's all do this together. We be each other's workout partner, business I'm partner, you know, you. detoxifying partner. Let's just You're do welcome, Miss Kid. All right. So Go listen, kid. we appreciate you guys. We love you to life. And there's what? Nothing, Nothing you, you can, can do about it. And also, great presentation, a, great presentation. Love you guys. Support and subscribe to this, the Power Couple of Health on YouTube. Go and subscribe. Great about, job. We love you, Flat. Glad I was able so to watch it. We're going to keep building it up of all the different topics that we've been covering since I um, since we started the channel. So support that for us, okay, everybody, and spread the word. Good information there. Victoria does an outstanding job on those on the research top on researching those topics. So it's good stuff. All right. So good. Yes. Yeah. Thank, right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Aura. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Hilda. We appreciate all of you on Facebook as well, as well as all you guys it's on Miriam Zoom. Miriam on there. And that we gay. It was great guys. seeing you, doll face. Yes, indeed. It was great it seeing was, all you guys it in, was in, in great LA. Seeing so. everybody. All right, guys. So have a great anything else? Have a great rest of your evening. Nope, we are it. good to go. All right. Thank you for joining us, and we appreciate you. As always, bye for now. And again, we love you guys. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Bye, everybody.